Welcome to Smart Integrator's short webinar about teaching mechatronics, robotics, and controls. As we look at the technical landscape that graduating engineers are confronted with, we can see that robotics, controls, and machine learning are becoming more complex and more ubiquitous. From industrial applications like self-driving cars and the human-like robots, to factory controls that are everywhere in our modern world. SI's DNA begins with wanting to close the gap between theory and practice. Think how many professors out there have the same aspiration. See work with educators to empower teaching by preparing the new generation of engineers to take part in problem solving, creative thinking and innovation through an intuitive approach to education. In addition to empowering teaching, we also work on accelerating research by highly innovative solutions, open architecture platforms and flexible designs that accelerate research, allowing publishing more papers. What we offer at SI and Quanser is a complete integrated solutions, every experiment includes amplifier, DAQ, Quark real-time software, supported software, MATLAB slash Simulink, LabVIEW embedded software, comprehensive curriculum, detailed manuals, quick start guides, build and controller to get the lab running. Digital twin virtual hardware for over 10 experiments, they are equipped with dynamic curriculum, DEX, experience controls, superb technical support and engineering assistance. So, here are the lab solutions that we offer in the field of mechatronics, robotics, and controls. These lab solutions are offered in variety of different products and solutions, giving a comprehensive courseware to enhance the academic and research sector, thus bridging the gap between university courses and industry, also empowering researchers to innovate and build a structural research papers that will help engineering students to evolve their skills from entry level to engineering advanced level, thus creating a more innovative engineers in the future. Starting with Mechatronics Lab Solution, we offer the only complete Mechatronics Lab sequence that covers everything from fundamentals to fully integrated systems using NI Elvis 3 platform, Quanser Add-on Boards, Quanser Cube Servo 2, and Quanser Aero 2. Let's take a look at the NI Elvis 3. To help explain our Mechatronics Lab solution we need first to introduce the NI Engineering Laboratory Virtual Instrumentation Suite, NI Elvis 3. It is an engineering laboratory device developed for project-based learning that combines instrumentation and embedded design with a web-driven experience to create an active learning environment in the lab and studio and flipped classrooms, delivering a greater understanding of engineering fundamentals and system design. With its programmable Xilinx 7020 FPGA, NI Elvis 3 addresses engineering curriculum by integrating project-based learning, teamwork, and design with course-specific application boards and labs developed by experts from education and industry. NI Elvis 3 enables educators to scale to future multidisciplinary applications, driving student employability. As we said, NI Elvis is a project-based learning solution that combines instrumentation, embedded design, and web connectivity for engineering fundamentals and system design. The NI Elvis 3 promotes teamwork and collaboration by providing Windows, Mac, and browser-based connectivity to seven benchtop quality instruments. These include Bode Plotter, for Analyzer, for Channel Oscilloscope, a Function Generator, Variable Power Supply, Digital Multimeter, and a Pattern Generator. The NI Elvis 3 also includes Analog I.O., Digital I.O., Power Supply, 8 LEDs, 2 buttons, 2 switches, three potentiometers, three, test point audio in, audio out. With our Mechatronic Lab Solutions, instructors can focus on teaching fundamentals of the Mechatronic subsystems and applications with fully developed robust hardware powered by rigorous software. Built exclusively for the NI Elvis platform, the Mechatronic's top board series includes sensors, survey of common Mechatronic sensors used in industry, actuators, design considerations, common specifications, interfacing and operation techniques for a variety of actuators. Systems, a complete mechatronic system designed to explore, develop and integrate component subsystems. A mechatronic system must, by its very nature, interface between electronic and mechanical components. When an electronic system manipulates a mechanical component, an actuator is necessary. Due to cost and dynamic constraints, the vast majority of actuators used in mechatronics consist of some form of rotary drive connected to an armature. 
The Quanser Mechatronic Actuators Board provides hands-on experience controlling and measuring the performance of the four most common actuator types, brush DC motors, brushless DC motors, stepper motors, and servo motors. After completing the labs in this manual, students should have the ability to complete and understand the following actions. Describe the electromechanical principles behind rotary actuators. Identify differences in performance between various actuators. Control various actuators using digital and analog signals. Evaluate what actuator would be preferable for a particular application and why. The next board that we will be talking about is the Quanser Mechatronic Sensors Board. It introduces students to various sensors that measure pressure, strain, temperature, contact, distance, angular displacement, and dynamics. Included curriculum covers basic measurement techniques, theoretical performance, specifications, and common design considerations designed exclusively for the NI Elvis 3 platform and lab view. The board also exposes students to industry-grade measurement and calibration fundamentals. After completing the labs and projects in this manual, students should have the ability to complete the following actions. Understand the underlying physics and construction of sensors. Perform static calibration sensors. Determine key sensor properties. Characterize sensor behavior. Perform signal conditioning. Compare the performance of sensors that measure the same physical quantities. Apply basic filtering and statistical analysis to measured signals. Moving to the Integrated Systems Solutions Quanser provides a wide variety of products to teach system integration. The Quanser Mechatronic Systems Board is the flagship systems trainer with hardware, software, and courseware developed specifically to teach mechatronic systems integration. From actuators and FPGA sensor integration, through mathematical modeling and image processing, to state machines and advanced applications, the Quanser Mechatronic Systems Board offers a rich experience for students. The Cube Servo 2 and Quanser ARO also offer students a series of advanced mechatronic challenges that lead them towards more advanced integration tasks including flight control of a virtual V-22 Osprey and cruise control of a virtual vehicle. Further opportunities to extend the topics covered by all of the SI products open up a variety of pathways for instructors to educate and students to innovate, no matter what be the engineering background. The Quanser Mechatronic Systems Board is designed to provide hands-on experience with a complete mechatronic system in a safe and academically appropriate setting. The system is composed of two DC motors which direct drive a 5-bar linkage. At the end of the manipulator linkage is a downward-facing camera. Together these parts allow the user to delve into the operation of a mechatronic system at every level. The QNET Mechatronic Systems Board is the only solution that takes students from component-level knowledge of sensors, actuators, and interfacing fundamentals to a system-level understanding of mechatronics design. After completing the labs and projects in this manual, you should have the ability to complete the following actions. 1. Describe the process by which rotary position is measured using encoders. 2. Describe the form and function of PWM signals and how these signals are used to drive DC motors. 3. Explain the relation between joint space and task space manipulator control. 4. Apply kinematic equations to convert between joint and task space. 5. Design a PID joint controller using manual tuning which meets design requirements. 6. Select appropriate thresholds for isolating specific image information. 7. Describe the process and function of blob detection algorithms. 8. Explain the process and application of pattern matching algorithms. 9. Construct a state machine. TO abstract a variety of aerospace systems, such as half quadrotor, 1 DOF VTOL, and 2 DOF helicopter Quanser introduces the Aero 2. The compact base includes a built in amplifier with an integrated current sensor, a built in data acquisition device and an interchangeable QFLEX2 interface panel offering connectivity options for a wide range of devices including PCs, embedded computers, and microcontrollers. For high-resolution optical encoders, plus one inertial measurement unit, IMU, can be used to measure and control attitude in both pitch and yaw axes. Slip ring wiring allows for unlimited, continuous, 360 degrees yaw rotation. Moreover, the Quanser Cube Servo 2 is a fully integrated, 
modular servomotor lab experiment designed for teaching mechatronics and control concepts at the undergraduate level. The Quanser Cube Servo 2 is featured with compact and integrated rotary servo system, tool less quick connect module interface, direct drive brushed DC motor, high resolution optical encoder, built in voltage amplifier with integrated current and tachometer sensors, integrated data acquisition DAQ device, flexible QFLEX2 computing interface for USB and SPI slash QBus connections, open architecture design, allowing users to design their own controller. Fully compatible with MATLAB registered slash Simulink registered and LabVIEW. Microcontroller examples and interfacing datasheet provided for the Cube Servo 2 embedded. TO give and expose students to the required environment to learn, understand, and apply. Quanser has developed a wide range of solutions in robotic courses. Encouraging innovation in a variety of robotic topics, including mobile robotics, manipulator robotics, and telerobotic and haptics. Whether you are engaged in ambitious research applications or teaching the next generation of engineering leaders, you need a robotics solutions optimized for the academic environment. SI's Quanser Mobile Robotics Solutions offer a unique combination of advanced hardware with a powerful software framework powered by Quanser's renowned QURC registered built on the MATLAB registered slash Simulink registered platform. SI offers options for ground and aerial vehicle applications, featuring the latest processors and flexible support of sensors. Combine them together to create a UVS lab that offers full localization and a comprehensive platform for multi-agent applications. At the center of the self-driving car research studio, the Q-Car is an open architecture scaled model vehicle powered with NVIDIA registered Jetson TX2 supercomputer and equipped with a wide range of sensors cameras, encoders, and user-expandable I.O. Relying on a set of software tools including Simulink Registered, Python, TensorFlow, and ROS, the studio enables researchers to build high-level applications and reconfigure low-level processes that are supported by pre-built modules and libraries. Using these building blocks, you can explore topics such as machine learning and artificial intelligence training, augmented-slash-mixed reality, smart transportation, multi-vehicle scenarios and traffic management, cooperative autonomy, navigation, mapping and control, and more. The self-driving car research studio workstation includes the Q-Car, single vehicle or vehicle fleet, a high-performance computer with RTX graphics card with Tensor AI cores, three monitors, high-performance router, a wireless gamepad, the software QURC autonomous license, a set of reconfigurable floor panels with roadway patterns. A set of traffic signs. The next major equipment is the Quanser Cubot 3. It is an innovative open architecture autonomous ground robot, built on a two-wheel mobile platform. Equipped with built-in sensors, a vision system, and accompanied by extensive courseware, the Cubot 3 is ideally suited for teaching undergraduate and advanced robotics and mechatronics courses. The courseware laboratory exercises are organized in a set of independent modules, allowing professors to select and adapt them easily for an existing course or build a new course. A reinforced landing platform and cargo plate also functions as an electromechanical prototyping platform for use in design projects. The open architecture control structure allows users to add other off-the-shelf sensors and customize the Cubot 3 for their research in areas such as vehicle navigation and control, autonomous vehicles control, machine learning, and computer vision, multi-agent heterogeneous and swarm robotics, and more. Now let's take a look at the second main application in robotics manipulator robotics. The study and exploration of serial link robots have been a core part of robotics education and research for many years. Initially, the study of manipulator robots was driven by applications in manufacturing, but later it became a key subsystem in more complex robotic applications in space robotics and mobile robotics. Quanser's QArm is a 4DOF serial robotic manipulator with a tendon-based two-stage gripper and an RGBD camera, designed for modern engineering education and academic research applications. Leveraging the intuitive graphical interface of Simulink registered or expandability of Python and ROS, Students get a systematic understanding of the design of robotic systems and concepts, including joint control, kinematics, path planning, 
statics, and dynamics. QArm comes with comprehensive studio type course resources to motivate students and provide the basis for interactive challenges. The Omni Bundle is a cost effective and safe way to introduce intermediate and advanced control concepts and theories related to robotics and haptics. Combining Geomagic Touch, formerly Sensible Phantom Omni, haptic device with QUARC registered control software and comprehensive developed curriculum allows students to easily translate course theory into hands-on experience. The last robotic solution we provide is the telerobotic application with haptic feedback. The platform consists of an advanced robot manipulator equipped with a force-slash-torque sensor made it a high DOF haptic manipulator and Quansur's QUARC real-time control software. This turnkey solution can be deployed quickly and is readily adaptable for a wide range of force feedback research applications. Combined with visualization, it is the ideal platform medical simulations, remote vehicle operations, and more. As a dexterous haptic device, HD Superscript 2 enables researchers to interact with virtual or remote environments using programmable force feedback. Compared to other commercially available haptic devices, HD Superscript 2 has a large workspace and very low intervening dynamics. This parallel mechanism is highly backdrivable with negligible friction. The heavy-duty capstan drive and high-performance motors reduce the perceived inertia while maintaining rigidity of the device structure. Telepresence solution is one other solution provided by Quansur in the telerobotic and haptics applications. It consists of a Quansur QR manipulator along with a Quansur HD Superscript 2 high-definition haptic device. The open architecture design of the solution allows researchers to quickly develop and deploy emerging applications in telerobotics, telepresence, machine learning, assistive robotics, collaborative robotics, and more using MATLAB slash Simulink. Quansur's QArm is a 4DOF serial robotic manipulator with a tendon-based two-stage gripper and an RGBD camera, designed for modern engineering education and academic research applications. The HD Superscript 2 high-definition haptic device is a high-fidelity haptic interface for advanced research in haptics and robotics. As we all know modeling and controls lie at the core of the emerging technological breakthroughs. From drones to reusable rockets to self-driving vehicles, the fundamentals of modeling and control are a critical skill for engineers to compete and innovate. Using our solutions students are exposed to process control, classic systems, modern systems control, and unstable systems control, giving them the chance to demonstrate all theoretical concepts get familiarized with them. The modern industrial systems that are fundamental to modern automation and manufacturing processes require specialized control systems to perform and manage their daily operations. SI offers a variety of plants that can be used to teach the key elements of modern process control including cascade control with the maglev and ball and beam systems as well as regulator design with the coupled tanks. Coupled tank system consists of a single pump with two tanks. Each tank is instrumented with a pressure sensor to measure the water level. The pump drives the water from the bottom basin up to the top of the system. Depending on how the outflow valves are configured, the water then flows to the top tank, bottom tank, or both. The rate of flow can also be changed using outflow orifices with different diameters. The ability to direct water flow, together with variable outflow orifices allows for several interesting single input single output CISO, configurations. Further, two or more coupled tanks can be combined together for multiple input multiple output MIMO, experiments. Now let's delve into the second application. The classic progression of control systems education begins with the fundamentals of modeling and designing control plants for linear systems. Quansur offers a diverse collection of plants that can be used as ideal platforms to offer students experience using classic control principles. These plants offer basic dynamics that range from rotary to linear motion. The rotary servo base unit is the fundamental element of the Quansa rotary control experiments. It is ideally suited to introduce basic control concepts and theories on an easy-to-use and intuitive platform. Use it on its own to perform several experiments or expand the scope of this unit by adding on other modules to teach an even wider range of control concepts. Instructors can thus expose students to a variety of rotary control challenges for a minimal investment.
Real-world applications of the rotary servomotor include the autofocus feature in modern cameras, cruise control in automobiles, and speed control in CD players. The modern approach to control systems takes a state-space approach to the design of control systems. Quanser has a collection of plants that can be used to show how a modern approach to control systems allows for the creation of precise controllers for complex systems with higher order dynamics. These plants include both dynamically complex plants such as the linear inverted pendulum and double pendulum, as well as plants such as the active suspension that require the use of both state space modeling to express the complex coupled dynamics of the system. The active suspension kit with its experiments teaches cutting-edge technology that has brought a new generation of vehicles to life. Active suspension technology is used in the automotive industry to continuously control the vertical movement of the vehicle wheel using an actively controlled actuator placed on the suspension axis. Similar technologies have also been used in train bogies to improve the curving behavior of the train and the decreased acceleration perceived by the passenger. So far, we have seen how we always managed to bridge the gap between the theoretical and practical applications, some of the most exciting emerging technologies from bipedal walking robots to reusable rockets requires the design of controllers for unstable systems. SI offers several plants that offer students an experience creating control systems for directly analogous dynamic systems, including single and double inverted pendulums. The rotary double inverted pendulum module is ideal to introduce intermediate and advanced control concepts, taking the classic single inverted pendulum challenge to the next level of complexity. You can use it to demonstrate real-world control challenges related, for example, to takeoff stabilization of a multi-stage rocket. The rotary double inverted pendulum module attaches to the rotary servo base unit. With SI Quanser Interactive Labs, you get a collection of virtual hardware-based laboratory activities that supplement traditional or online courses. The virtual hardware is based on Quanser physical systems and offers credible, academically appropriate experiences on desktops, laptops, or smart devices. Combining Quanser interactive labs with actual Quanser systems allows instructors to enrich their lectures and activities in traditional labs and increases engagement and students' learning outcomes in class-based or online courses. Deliver meaningful hardware experiences to students remotely. Leverage Quanser interactive labs not only to offer students credible lab activities accessible off-campus, but integrate them into your lectures and bring even more interaction and engagement to your course material. Implement a scalable solution as quickly as possible. Quanser Interactive Labs virtual high-fidelity plants give students academically appropriate hardware experiences on Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android. Available as a 12-month subscription with multiple seat quantity options, the platform requires little to none IT infrastructure and resources to integrate. Leverage existing Quanser content and curriculum. Quanser Interactive Labs come with a complete student curriculum, including check your understanding and full assessment questions and lab reporting. Instructors can manage student access and monitor their progress. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.